hi guys welcome back to your girls channel is right so today's video i will be giving you guys tips and tricks not really tips not what am i saying not tips and tricks but tips on how to do it in this video i will be giving you guys tips on how to deal with uni if this is honestly such a big disclaimer if you clicked on this video thinking that you're gonna get tips on how to be an a student or clicking on this channel to get tips on how to be an a student or a plus student then you're on the wrong channel and you're on the wrong video so i'm not even gonna waste your time before we even begin so you can stay if you wanna but at least i told you because i feel like that is a battlefield that is a war zone you know like hey yay yeah, yay yeah, yay yeah, yay yeah. i don't even want to talk about it but that thing that thing is tough if you know you know you know it's like a mandatory tip is to stay organized i feel like the most important thing about uni the reason why we may fail sometimes is because we are not organized and first things first i am gonna say get yourself a planner right get yourself um different journals if you are a person who journals like myself i don't like setting reminders on my phone i don't like using notepads on my phone i prefer writing things down that's therefore that is the reason why i have too many diaries plan your week out right which is honestly i'm not gonna lie it's something that i really really do but i do write like things that i need to do for that particular day as the day goes so i know by the end of the day i know i have to get this done this done this done and to be honest there's certain tasks that you know will take you a very long time to do like if you have a research assignment that you need to do throughout the duration of days put it on those days and to be honest i feel like certain tasks might not be mandatory but everything that is mandatory put it at the top so you know that once i get this done even if i don't get enough time or enough hours to finish the last set it's fine i can still get it done tomorrow but at least i'm done with the most important things so how to stay organized I just need to remove this because this is last week's Chinese. <clears throat> I firstly have a weekly planner. So I have a weekly planner that looks like this. This is like Monday to Friday, um, Monday to Sunday. You write your things going down, right? Tuesday, whatever, whatever. To do list, or I guess this has to deal the space particularly has to deal with more of um, the most important tasks that you need to complete. I have also this journal that I got a long time ago. I kind of put like a little bit of solid side on it, but so that the stars wouldn't really disappear and wouldn't really look as raggedy raggedy as it looks at the back. Because <laughs> at the back, that's how it looks. So that's why I really put like this thing so that it wouldn't really look as bad. But I got this journal from Typo. Typo, Typo was having a sale decided to get this journal which isn't like a fancy journal on what it looks like inside uh, on what it really looks like but to be honest I'm just gonna show you a day that I wrote so this is on the uh, you see this is honestly what I wrote in September I don't even know what year this is but I think this was 2018 yeah I'm right I'll put this in 2018 so this is what I wrote in my diary right so you can see how I planned out my stuff I write each and every single day and I underline then I write the tasks that I need to do for that particular day. So what I do is this is like a more specific planning book where I write day to day like the specifics of what I need to do. Okay, today is the 25th. I need to do A, B, C, D. You know, for here, this is like your important things that need to go on here. Because like I don't think that these blocks have enough space. But with here, you can be so detailed with everything that I need to do. So second thing, which was supposed to be the first tip is like this video is really not specific. If you're doing first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, postgraduate, doesn't really matter. But showing you guys of how the things that I do. So the next tip that I'm going to have is that in order for you to go on further into your university studies and to progress through the months, because I know that the workload is a lot the workload is really a lot for you to be able to breathe and do anything so i would say that first you need to have the determination you need to consistently affirm yourself that i can do this you need to tell yourself that this qualification is mine i am not doing this for anyone else and i feel like once you're starting believing into those things that this qualification or reminding yourself why you want that qualification will really push you further into actually you know like instilling the motivation within you to go on and on so you need to know qualification is for me it's not for my parents 
it's not for anybody else and that certificate is going to be written my name my name and so that i have got this for myself so you need to tell yourself that you know you need to have the discipline when Usman Ban is supposed to hit you up, like sure, Dwana, you know, <laughs> tonight is Puza, Spuju, Nadi, you know, we, we, we're going out and you know, with your guys, I really have this like research assignment. You need to be able to push yourself first and say no, which is not something that I struggle with. I say no most of all, like, like 99% of the time, I say no because, like, I know, like, I need to get this qualification that's one thing that I know about myself I need to get this qualification I'm also on funding which is also something that pushes you more because I need to also mention that you need to have a proper work ethic you cannot make it out if you're gonna consistently depend on someone else if you're gonna depend on Utabo throughout your whole uni life yeah you can get your qualification but later in life that thing is gonna catch up on you later in life ah, it's gonna catch up on you I'm telling you like for you not to have a standard work ethic even if people who were in high school who used to copy from Usman Ban and now you get into uni you one man the person that you're with is no longer with you you one man you guys have parted ways it's not gonna be the same I'm telling you at a certain point in your life things are gonna catch up with you so I always really try to say like stay true to yourself number one be determined and tell yourself what you ask yourself why am I doing this who am I doing this for because you need to remind yourself who you're doing this for and you need to also think about um, why do you want this so badly if you do want it that badly so you know when I was in first year um, the biggest mistake that I did okay when I got in from high school to first year high school to first year I literally told myself when I enter uni I'm not gonna be big on friends I'm not gonna be big on all these things that people will tell you about oh uni is fine uni is, you know like i literally got into uni and i told myself that you know what so you're entering into a new, a new institution a new world a new environment you're alone you need to make new friends you're studying something different you need you, you basically just can man do you can man like now you need to obviously you need to tell yourself what's okay how do i prepare myself you need to start preparing yourself for these things you know so like i started telling myself like one thing that i want for myself i'm not really big on these friendships or any big on anything like if it comes it comes sharp but for me one thing that i told myself is that i'm gonna be determined i need to prove myself right i need to tell myself and i need to prove to myself that you're capable you know you're really capable of like being the greatest student you're really capable and you need to show yourself that you deserve to be in this in institution you know i proved to myself by the time i finished first year i got the best results i've ever gotten in my whole university career first year i did great like i did phenomenal i won't lie to you i did struggle yes i'm not saying i did i didn't have 50s i did struggle in economics because i never did economics in high school i struggled in it you know i i'm not gonna say i was perfect but for me that was like the best record that i've ever gotten you know got to second year i was like ah you know i got into the hang of things so you know um let me just take it easy take it easy um school show me flipped school showed me flames in second year i dropped dismally in my marks i dropped dismally because why i thought that i knew more i thought that i knew too much i thought that you know what you got this girl don't worry <laughs> no a school showed me flames in second year school showed me flames i couldn't deal with school I couldn't your know, school showed me flames guys I went from getting distinctions in mathematics applied and pure mathematics distinctions in first year to literally failing it in second year like do you understand what I'm saying like going from to <laughs> I was in awe because like you see what I'm saying so like that was like my biggest mistake and I I'm just gonna give you guys these tips and share my mistakes with you guys because like Telling yourself, ah, I need to take it easy. I feel like each and every single year you need to create a new fresh start for yourself. The next tip that I have is to manage your time wisely, which comes with the first tip that I said, plan accordingly. When you plan accordingly, you manage your time wisely. So you need to understand that you need to set your time correctly. For each task that you do, I would say set a timer. So you know what, one hour I'm going to switch off my phone. Eliminate all distractions by all means, which is also another tip. 
switch off all your appliances and stuff like that you'll see them when you take a break you see say for one hour i am going to do this research assignment put your phone on do not disturb put it on flight mode put yourself on a timer yeah one hour start start doing it i promise you like that thing has really helped me manage my time like by the time of an hour moves very fast but it also moves very slowly like if you tell yourself i'm gonna do a b c and d once an hour's done you realize go to you i actually did like a lot within this hour you know as time goes by take a break after that one hour do whatever you need to do respond to your girlfriend your boyfriend your friends i don't know respond to whoever watch whatever youtube video like you're watching this one you know what i'm saying and then go back set another hour do it so on and so on and don't forget to take breaks when you're studying this could also work when you're studying when you're doing anything don't forget to take breaks i feel like breaks are really mandatory take breaks when you're studying it is important because like it really helps you to like refuel refuel is it refuel i don't know maybe i'm creating my own terms but you get one take what i'm gonna give you guys is do not procrastinate i am a very massive procrastinator and i'm telling you now it's 2021 see when they say procrastination is a thief of time i'm telling you you will procrastinate by the time you know it's 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 it's, it's a week later and your assignment is like now like your assignment is due two days and you haven't even began and you know that you need like 10 pages back to back of like research Yo, that needs to be paraphrased that needs to be referenced you see there you feel like your life is here like you feel your throat being big bigger and bigger i promise you like school can really make you sick guys like sick to the core like i know what i'm talking about i feel like also if you're someone who has anxiety like myself it's always really best to have like coping mechanisms on how to cope without medication because that's what i'm also trying to get into the group of teaching myself because like it's so easy to just drink meds sharp okay cool life goes on drink meds sharp cool life goes on and i've been doing that for quite a while now i'm seeing that my dosages need to increase because i feel like those dosages i used to drink aren't sufficient anymore because it gets worse and worse and worse and that's like what i'm trying to stop because by the time i know i'd be drinking like four tablets instantly for my anxiety you see what i'm saying so like i really need to find like different ways of coping with anxiety drinking more chamomile tea drinking like healthier things or like um yeah just really healthy organic things you know just to cope with something because like this thing of tablets i no you like study groups where you just write notes i'm not in one currently but um i know that this could work for other people where you're in study groups and you just write notes and you exchange with people to be able to understand or it, it's very time consuming because like instead of you summarizing the whole thing you know that you summarize one chapter and a lady summarizes chapter two tepiso summarizes chapter three and then you exchange and then boom you know by the time you have it you have all the notes you're ready to study you're ready to go you understand also another thing that i would recommend do post papers for literally everything do post papers for everything when you study for tests do the assignment that you got again especially if you're someone who does like maths who works with numbers because i do so do the post papers again you see even like theory like law for example because i know i used to do law i loved it with my whole life like i love your law is nice guys like yo anyways but like basically if you do it do post papers because like things may come out in the same manner but the english is different but it's like the same thing yeah well so like do post papers because then you have like a sense of expectation i'm like a person who wants to know what to expect especially when they're about to write a test sometimes you might not have enough time because like i said i'm a person who needs to get through all of uh, the studying out of the way before i can know what to expect in a theoretical paper so that the studying doesn't become hard which i know that is not studying smart but it's just how i am because like i get too anxious when i feel like i haven't studied i haven't completed studying i'm about to write i only know things from past papers what if things change you know what if now there's like a new question and i'm not prepared for it so it's just those things where i just feel like you know i need to finish this off before i start there so like i said do post papers or even have like a glimpse through your post paper and just be like okay sharp now i know what is expected of me i know what to study more i know what counts more marks i know that this topic is here i know that this topic is really challenging even when you study i'd say study 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 
and allocate more time for like the topic that you find to be difficult or start with it if you're struggling with um a chapter that counts for more marks in the test you're struggling with it you know with 60 percent of that paper you've already failed why because you're like island ah, actually move on and the things that you tell yourself is what applies in your life so you also need to understand what you say and say and i know last year that's what really happened to me you know so you need to understand and the way you speak to yourself is really what you start absorbing tell yourself i can do well in school i can do great Another tip that I'm going to mention that I feel like is really underrated is eating sufficiently and sleeping sufficiently. If you nail all the tips that I've said so far and you have you manage your time quite wi honestly wisely guys, I promise you now you will have sufficient time to sleep. I know I don't have enough time to sleep because like I just feel like the workload gets too much but also depending on what you study because like a lot of courses have a lot of workload. We can't deny that. You understand like a lot of courses really have a shitload of work. And I'm human also so you need to understand like things are really different in life you understand not everything is really equivalent so like if you find a way to be able to manage time because I'm not gonna really give you guys a tip of we all have the same 24 hours in a day which I mean obviously we know that we all have the same 24 hours in a day but we all are different people we all have different things happening in our lives especially with this online learning as girls you know you have to cook you need to do house chores you need to do this plus you need to do school so you need to understand like things may be time consuming at home because the things that you need to do and the things that you need to study so like i'm not gonna say we all have the same 24 hours there's no reason for you not to sleep or whatever because things are not the same we're not from the same um background circumstances are not the same for all of us you understand someone could be studying and working someone might have to go to work come back and study yes we all have the same 24 hours but the circumstances are not the same so hence i'm saying find a right way to allocate sufficient time for yourself that will allow you to be able to push school and to be able to push whatever it is that you have going on and will allow you to also sleep sufficiently which i'm um, even if you sleep for six hours i wouldn't recommend sleeping for less than six because i know that i sleep for six i used to sleep less than six and you burn out quickly like you your body burns out at a faster rate and that burnout phase is like the most painful thing it's the hardest thing because like you're just flat you can't do anything because it's gone feeling up that's it's gone like <laughs> your body's burned out because things are not looking grand eating healthy um it's really easy because like you know when you start working into stuff like it get it's it, it, it's easy for you to forget about eating you know you just like okay i'll eat until you actually become hungry 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 and you're like okay now i need to eat but like it's really easy for you to just forget about eating so what i'm gonna say is eat healthy um substitute foods i mean substitute sweets with like dried food like dried cranberries i know like dried cranberries are a great substitute for sweets for me because i'm a person who needs to chew consistently in order for me to think to be honest like for me to be able to think deep 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 i need to chew on something like sweets not bubble gum and eat healthy because your body needs vitamins for it to have more energy for you to do more and be more so yeah to have something going on the side for you to cope like coping mechanism i do youtube on the side of school so when i know like school really gets hard and i'm trying to distract myself i do youtube stuff like that's how i know that i can like Re, not recoup but like it's, it's, it's like a break like you're okay like i need a break i need to take a break and you feel like you're taking the break by doing something else that you love so i'd also recommend that like if you have a small thing in a hobby like playing soccer or i don't know baking i know that baking used to be the it thing for me like it's so therapeutic it's something that you can do you know i know i used to do that when i was still in high school so like it's also nice to get like a certain hobby that you do that will take your mind off things that are kind of like really really hectically stressing you and then get back at it i wouldn't really say it's procrastinating but it's just giving you time to be able to recoup and really rethink and be like okay now i'm really ready to work on the stuff that i need to work on therefore you work on what you need to work on also drink water stay hydrated most importantly Take care of your health like you need to take care of your internal self in order for you to be, perform externally and like give yourself like the best outcomes so oh, also lastly the last tip that i have is for you to never feel like you're alone when you don't understand stuff consult never feel embarrassed or feel 
I don't know what email your lectures, email your tutors, email not email your peers, but like you can consult with your peers and ask whenever you don't understand. Most importantly, if you feel alone and you feel like everything is just hard for you to manage, never feel alone, guys, because I know with academics, life is hard. You'll find yourself at psychologists. I'm telling you, like, your mental health is, shake, is gonna shake one way or another. Always know that the psychiatrist is gonna shake. You know, school when was the best girl? Hey, it's one of the lost at the TV in there's all the psychiatrists to go to. I know that psychiatrists really might not, it might not be the best or the best solution, but it's something. It's better than nothing. So make use of it. I know it's. Hey, Mo! I know it's cool that we have psychiatrists. I don't know what other institutions have, but I think it's the same thing. I don't know. Take care of yourself mentally. Take the breaks that you need, and which is why I said, like, have a hobby, you know, because I feel like it also really helps with dealing with your mental health. And yeah, just do what you love doing. Have a balance in your life. It's not like oh, as much a nice time, but know that you need to do the right thing first and put yourself first and know that your education is a priority, most importantly. So those are all the tips that I have for today and I hope that these were useful. I don't know if I skipped anything, I'll probably put it in the description box if I skipped anything. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. My sister's cooking and she's warming up the food in the background, which is why it's been noisy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. I don't know what it is. We'll see as time goes by. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah. Bye-bye. You don't understand what they're talking about. Who can I school? Ha ha,